In the traditional teachings of our people, the Dene, the uh, one that is most commonly understood is the one that is to say if something is going to happen or be made to happen, it is up to you. And one of the things that uh, a lot of times the uh, traditional teachings on that that maybe is not made clear is the idea that uh, the holy people think of us as all equal. Is the way that we are told. Is that no one is better or greater than any any other of the uh, beings on earth. Is to be understood to mean that the holy people think of each of us as equal to one another, whether it be male or female, and the. Uh, people that are selected to lead are not any greater than those people that they lead. There's no status as far as that is concerned. But as a leader, in most cases in the uh, years past, the leaders were medicine people. is uh, the way I remember. Every one of our leaders in that, that had some position of authority had her medicine bundle. And they would uh, use that uh, medicine bundle to heal all of their people. And that's the uh, important thing to understand, is that the uh, teaching that is so very sacred, and that is to always to protect the innocent. And the innocent are the people that really are maybe weak or small or have um, disability in some way. And they don't go out and do things that are harmful to people. And sometimes they would refer to that as bat etten, bat etten, the ayahidi kada yasibiki hotehti, is to say that the ones that are innocent and have no threat toward other people are the ones that should be protected. They are the ones that are, should be the concerns of leaders. And anybody that is the neh, the nechadneh is the way that we are told that when you are the neh, that you understand. Which is to say that you protect them from all of the different dangers and that that might be a threat to them. When in modern times, when we think of who are the innocent, probably our children and the unborn, those are the people that are innocent and then also the people that might not have had any of the opportunities and that that most of us, most of us have had in, uh, in growing up, having the opportunity to gain an education, not so much as uh, indoctrination as in so many cases, but to get education. That is a very important thing. I think that even our leader, Manuelito, he was a very much a, a man that believed in the education of the, the young people. But uh, his story is kind of sad because he did send two of his sons off to school, government boarding school, and, and they both died. And uh, it was very hard for them, for him as a leader in that, to encourage people to send their children off to school boarding school and that these uh, that they had back in those days but uh losing his two sons and that in that particular way kind of discouraged a lot of people and so today we still have the teachings and that to protect the innocent and make sure that uh everyone understands you know which is that none of us are better or greater than any other of the or any people really and so the teachings are that in other words, children are no threat to us. They don't uh, give any danger, uh, endanger the lives of other people. And so it is that it is our responsibility. is to say kinship. Because every dene is related to one another in some way. And so if you look at it on a greater scale, that all people are in some way related to one another. Everyone that is in this world is related to each other in some way. 
And we must all remember, you know, it is the older generation in that that is responsible for protecting the innocent and that none of us are greater than any other people. We are all equal. Which is the holy people regardless of all equal. They don't put any one of us above another. And so those are the teachings that uh, we are provided as the neh, and it's something that is being forgotten. Those are the things that we are told. Yeah,